Hi guys, my name is Megan and today I have a series review for the Song of the Lioness Quartet. So for anybody who remembers my bookish resolution video, um, I said I was going to reread all of my Tamora Pierce books and these are the first ones basically in the Tortolan saga, I'm gonna call it. So the Song of the Lioness Quartet is the first quartet of books in this big huge saga of books set in the same world of Tortal and um, these are some of my absolute favorites. So I think I read all four of these in like four or five days and I will admit I read these three between the day after Christmas and New Year's Eve. So New Year's Eve finished the third book with about 40 minutes to midnight and then I started this one. Um, so anyway I love these books so much and I haven't read them in a very very long time and you know I realized I hadn't put down like a written review for any of these and it was really nice to reread them as an adult and see just how much they had changed from or how much my opinions have changed since I was a kid or a teenager and read them the last time. So in this first book, so Alana and Tom, her twin brother, are these two kids at a out of the way fife in the middle of nowhere basically and Alana's father doesn't really care about them so he's sending them off to, let's see, he's sending Alana off to a convent to learn to be a lady and her brother Tom off to be a knight and Tom is no good at being a knight. He just wants to be a sorcerer and Alana does not want to be one of those court ladies. And so Alana comes up with this plan to for them to switch places and basically Alana goes to the capital and hides as a boy for years. I think it's like eight or so years that she hides as a boy and a man learning to become a knight and she becomes the best knight there is even though she's short and skinny. This is just such an amazing book series that started off with this little girl who didn't want to become a lady. She wanted to become a knight and have adventures and sword fights and this just kind of shows that you can put your mind to anything and it was just such a good book. I cannot believe how much I loved it over. And in this first book nobody finds out she's a girl except for a couple of people and they keep her secrets. This one I think I read in four hours total, maybe, maybe five hours total. It's such a quick read and it's just so good and if you like the trope of a girl hiding or being undercover and learning how to do things that you know girls don't normally do, you should definitely read this because it's amazing. Um, so going forward in the series, uh, In the Hand of the Goddess, this one I think, yes this one, is the one where she goes from being a squire to being a full knight and she kind of develops feelings for Prince Jonathan who is her knight master and who knows that she's a girl and they kind of develop a relationship and I will say that I was not a fan of them getting together at all. They're just too much alike and they fight and they make up and then they fight again and then it's just a cycle of them yelling at each other and then making up and then realizing that oh I don't like you maybe I do should we not be together should we be together it's just I love them as friends but not as a couple they're just not not a good couple. <laughs> this one she becomes a knight towards the middle of, or towards the end of the book and basically is protecting the prince and she gets into this duel with another character and basically that's how she tells the entire court that she is a girl because something happens and basically the shit hits the van and then she basically leaves. Leaving was not a good idea just because she ran away from her problems. She didn't face them head on. That was one of the only things that I found in this book that I did not like that she ran away from her problems at the end of the book. Now in book three, book three irritates me just a little. This one is my least favorite out of the entire quartet and it's only by like a few things that I'm irritated by this one so much. So basically we pick up about a month after the end of the last book and Alana is hanging out in the middle of the desert. Basically she gets adopted into this tribe and she becomes their shaman and basically she starts a shaman school in their camp and people come and start learning magic and all sorts of stuff and she basically turns the traditions for this tribe on their head but so Jonathan shows up at one point so Prince Jonathan from earlier in the books who was her knight master and her lover and best friend and they start their romance back up again and oh boy this one I just wish it hadn't happened in this one because I love them 
as people and I hate when they're fighting like so much. They didn't speak to each other for I want to say six months or so through this book. I think this book covers two years, two years worth of time, maybe a year and a half. Anyway, so they spend a lot of that time not speaking to each other and that irritated me because Jonathan left without apologizing and Lana wouldn't apologize and neither of them would apologize for the things that they said and that irritated me. So eventually this book, they do move on. So Alana moves on with her love life and goes back to George Cooper, who is her best friend. He's a thief. He's the king of the thieves of Tortal and I will admit I am a huge Alana and George shipper. I have been from day one of loving this series and but I love them together so much and Alana has some commitment issues and that's kind of what the fight between her and Jonathan was about but this one there are some points I just wish that things hadn't happened and other things did but I will admit this book ended well. It's just a lot of stuff in the middle I had problems with. And moving on to the final book, The Lioness Rampant. This book is by far my favorite book of this entire quartet. This one starts off with an adventure and we're introduced to a new character and he's kind of a badass and Alana shows that she's a badass and they go on an epic adventure to the top of the world basically to find a jewel that can grant power over a land to a ruler. And I will admit, Alana and Liam, Liam is the badass guy that they meet. They have an interesting relationship, but again, not quite a fan of it. Because they're too similar personality wise. They both have tempers and they get mad at each other and Liam doesn't like magic and Alana has magic and she uses it and that does not end well for either of them eventually. But they do remain friends and I'm really happy that they remained friends um, through most of the book. But this book is a huge adventure starting from page one straight to the very last page and there's all sorts of magic and weird shit that happens and Alana's a complete badass. And in this one she realizes that she has feelings for George and they finally, finally get together for real and I love them together so, so much. It's amazing and I love these books and I love the way that things ended in this book. It's perfect and it's, it leaves the world open for more and this one in particular, the adventure was just so good and it just wouldn't let you put the book down basically. And if you're looking for a strong badass female character and magic and knighthood and blowing uh, perceptions out of the water, this series is one that you should definitely check out. Um, all of these books are amazing and these have probably been one of my favorite books for 15 or more years, maybe 12. Yeah, 12 years or so. These have been one of my absolute favorite books. They blew a ton of different stereotypes out of the water about girls being weak and hello, this girl hid as a boy and went through the entire night training process and it became the best night there is. And she is a complete badass warrior with magic and cool, awesome friends. Like the friend group that develops in these books is amazing. That's like friendship goals right there. The main core of this friend group loved Alana so much that they forgave her instantly for lying to them about being a girl. All right, so that's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you for joining me for my series review for the Song of the Lioness Quartet. Um, please stay tuned for more of my Tortolan Saga book series reviews because um, there will be many of them. <laughs> if you guys have read these books, let me know your thoughts down below. And so would you guys make a choice similar to Alana if one thing that you wanted to do more than anything was something that most people wouldn't do? Would you do it anyway? I think if I had the choice between doing the same thing Alana did, I would do it in a heartbeat because there's more to life than being in a court and learning courtly manners. I would rather have adventures and learn how to use magic and a sword and fight. All right, that's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you for joining me for this video. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You can also hit the notification button to get notifications when I post a new video. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, check out the links down below. Alrighty, bye guys.